can't learn to run with the pack, one of these days you'll be someone's dinner. Even if I'm not a fan of the 1967 animated classic, would I still like this? Hi, welcome to Cinema Journal, and this is my first impression of the latest Disney remake, The Jungle Book. Mowgli, played by Neil Seti, is a man cub living in the jungles of India, having adapted himself to the beautiful yet dangerous settings thanks to the wolf pack that has adopted him into their family and with the help of his friend Bagheera, voiced by Bing Kingsley. While the majority of the animals tolerates him, Shere Khan, voiced by Idris Elba, does not and threatens to kill the boy when the chance arises, warning of the man cub's future potential to turn against the jungle and his inhabitants. In fear for his life as well as to protect his wolf family, Bagheera takes Mowgli to return him to the world of man, but the man cub is reluctant to do so. But with the help of his friends, including Baloo, voiced by Bill Murray, Mowgli learns to be himself as he takes on against a vindictive tiger. The director of the film, John Favreau, has stated that he wished to be more faithful to the original source material written by Rudyard Kipling from the 1890s while paying homage to the 1967 animated film that was the last one that Walt Disney himself was personally involved with before his death. Personally, I was never a fan of the animated version. I don't think it's anything bad and it certainly has a lot of charm, I just didn't find much enjoyment with repeat viewings. I do actually remember another live action Jungle Book that Disney did do that was released in 1994 that I watched plenty of times as a kid. That version has a grown up Mowgli that took place during the British imperialist era of India and the one thing I remember the most is some of his violent death scenes. Now Disney Studios have been making a business out of remaking many of their classic animated films into live action and as I watched this trailer, it actually grabbed my interest as it looked really beautiful and thought that maybe it could be something I would like very much. It certainly has the feel of it wanting to be somewhat of an adventure film but still keep that Disney formula in check. And with an all-star cast voicing the iconic animal characters with an Indian child playing the lead role, it pretty much sold me. And I really enjoyed it. While having some issues with it. First off, this really is a beautiful looking film, managing to capture the feel of a jungle that has this dreamlike quality to it. With the filmmakers citing Avatar and Life of Pi as inspirations, the CGI of the animals surprisingly fit in very well with the surroundings, and even standing next to the live action Mowgli, I couldn't tell the difference between what is real or digitally made, and I'm usually pretty good at spotting those, so kudos for making it feel so real to me. And the voice acting is very well done as all of the actors really put themselves into their roles. Some of it can be a bit distracting like Christopher Walken as King Louis, but I was able to get over it. One thing that I do like more in this film than I like in the animated film is the characterization of Mowgli. I've never liked the character myself as I find him to be a brat at points and his wish to stay in the jungle just comes off as whiny. With this one, while still a child, there's this sense that he's smart enough to know what's going on around him but has his own personal desires that becomes the driving force of the film and makes me want to invest in his journey. After Shere Khan threatens the wolf pack to give up the man cub, Mowgli volunteers to leave in order to protect his family. But when it comes to going to the nearby man village, he expressed doubt and disinterest that actually made me understand his reasoning and actually made me feel more sympathetic towards him. Also, I like the attention of detail of him having scars along with scratches, bruises, and dirt on his body to show his life in a jungle that is not all fun and games. They show enough that he is at a severe disadvantage because of his lack of physical strength and animal instinct that are essential to survival in the wilderness, but he managed to make that up with his human cognitive skills along with his physical prowess to help him adapt to the law of the jungle. I feel that this was a much needed update to his characterization that makes him much more relatable and likable. So there's a lot of things that I can praise about this film, but that doesn't mean that they didn't do anything that made me raise an eyebrow. While the filmmakers say that they still want to pay homage to the animated film, I wouldn't have minded so much if it weren't so goddamn blatant. It can be very distracting for someone who is very familiar with the anime of the film as they took score cues and even lines to incorporate them into the film. But I was able to quickly let that go and just accept it and some of it I thought it was fine. 
but what I find more unforgivable was the use of his songs. There are two scenes in the film where they actually use the songs that everybody is familiar with from the animated film that, in a film that is not meant to be a musical in the first place, comes off as awkward and forced. Seriously, you can't be your own thing without having to be nostalgic? Well, I'm willing to forgive one of them, but the other... Ugh. Thankfully, it's a very minor thing that went through quickly that I managed to get back and enjoy the rest of the film. And even with some of those bumps, it's a fine film and an enjoyable one at that that has plenty of things to like about it that felt much better than the animated film. With likeable characters and gorgeous visuals to go with it, it certainly is a treat to behold. 